Yesterday, a six-year-old lost their life in St. Johns County due to a hit-and-run incident, as confirmed by the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office. The incident occurred around 6.16 in the evening in the vicinity of North Volusia and West King Streets. Deputies reported that the child was swiftly transported to the hospital, but unfortunately did not survive. Currently, there is no available information regarding the vehicle or suspect involved. The St. Johns County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit is actively investigating the case. This is a developing story and we'll have more information as it becomes available. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. For everything, there is a season. Yes, a time for every activity under heaven. Yes, it is. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to cry and a time to laugh. A time to grieve and a time to dance. Loved ones gathered Saturday night to remember the life of a young man killed Monday in West St. Augustine. He was 22-year-old Trey Lyons. The colors of green and orange adorned the service, honoring Trey's favorite college team, the Miami Hurricanes. Trey was found shot and killed inside of a vehicle on North Orange Street near Webster Elementary School. According to the St. John's County Sheriff's Office, 21-year-old Cody James was also inside of the vehicle in the same condition. No arrests have been made. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. Public Affairs Director Wayne Larson gives Liz Ryan a preview of today's Board of County Commissioners meeting. At today's meeting, they'll have a very special presentation in honor of Commissioner Paul Waldron. As everyone knows, Commissioner Waldron unfortunately passed away in October of 2022, and in remembrance of his service to the community and to the Board of County Commissioners, we have a very special presentation that we're going to make towards the beginning of the regular meeting. So we encourage anyone who can attend to join us. If you, if you can't, of course, watch online, but it's a very special presentation that will include a tribute video to uh, Commissioner Waldron and his service to St. John's County. After that, we will have our public infrastructure update and our legislative affairs update. And it's a great opportunity for the community to get the latest and greatest on what we're doing when it comes to building a better St. John's County, and then also what we're doing to secure state appropriations for some of those projects through our legislative affairs efforts. And then the real big item on the agenda will be State Road 210. We have a couple of items related to that. Approval of an MOU between the county and the Twin Creeks development, which is building Beachside and other projects around the area. And then the approval of a contract, part of a six-lane widening project of County Road 210 for $12.5 million. Of course, there is public comment at time certain at 11.30 a.m., and we encourage and welcome the community to attend the meeting or watch it online. The meeting starts at 9 a.m. in the County Auditorium on San Sebastian View. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's Local Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.